It's really happening? The U.S. government is giving Russia's frozen assets to Ukraine. For the first time, we are transferring to Ukraine assets seized from sanctioned Russian oligarchs. It's $5.7 million worth and just a sliver compared to the war damage. But does that mean Cave can soon get the rest of the frozen assets? It's not easy. The U.S. and Western countries froze over $350 billion of Russia's assets. That includes central bank reserves, assets of private companies, and property of Russian oligarchs like the yacht of Putin's close ally Ior Sechin worth $120 million. The World Bank puts the cost of rebuilding Ukraine at $411 billion. Getting Moscow to pay will be an uphill battle. UN vote in October 2022 called on Russia to cover the damages. Those against? The move left Russia cold and it can veto any UN decisions. Sue Russia in international courts? It's no go as it doesn't recognize their authority. Is there a legal way to wrestle the money from the Kremlin? Iraq was forced to use its oil revenue in 1990s to pay 52 billion in reparations after Saddam Hussein wrecked Kuwait. The EU floated a different idea for Ukraine's restoration. Its leaders offered to use the revenues from Russian central bank assets. The option is legal and can generate $3.3 billion a year but the final decision is still to be made. Now the fate of the bill and Ukraine hangs in the balance.